Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this map page that I've we previously worked on, um, and we are going to add an in-page scroll interaction um, to this drop-down header. So basically, when this drops down onto a page, so uh, as you can see here in this prototype uh, that we mocked up last time, when this drops down, I want this interaction to auto-scroll us to a certain part on this page. And so the difficulty here is that we have two artboards. So essentially these are different pages. There's no real way to create an interaction that scrolls onto this other page. So we're gonna we're gonna trick Envision um, and Sketch into working for us. Now they may have already planned for this. I don't know, um, but it feels like a trick. It feels like trickery. So we're gonna call it that. All right. So what we're gonna do basically is very very simple. We're going to cut that button. We're going to come to this artboard and we're going to paste it. Um, we're going to make sure that our prototyping craft prototyper is on here. This little lightning icon down here at the bottom. Um, and we're going to make sure our button is selected. Make sure you have it in the in the folder. This makes it very very easy to select um, different buttons and things and create uh, interactions off of them with Envision this craft. Uh, prototyper. Uh, so we're going to hit C, which is the the key that you need to press when you're prototyping here in Sketch with the Craft Manager. Um, and we're going to use this nice little line interaction here. So if you hit C and you go on the same page, it basically creates an in-page um, scroll point, right? So we're going to say that if I'm below these reviews, I'm gonna scroll, so my screen is fairly centered on them. So let's, let's guess right about there. Smooth scrolling transition, add the link. Uh, so now we're going to cut Command X that off the screen. We're going to Command V it back onto this artboard. Um, and that basically, what that does is it keeps the, lo the pixel location that we want this to go and so when this appears on the other page, it's just going to assume that that's the page it lives on and jump to that pixel location, which is perfect because that's what we want. So let's sync this, these new changes to our prototype and envision. And we're gonna all ponder why it's taking so long. Pretty sure that I pay for better Wi-Fi than this. All right, so we have to wait for this little thing to ding its approval at us. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's just refresh this just for the sake of it. Okay, so let's we hit this point right here. We have our nice little hot spot. Let's go all the way down. Uh, oh, let's show 10 more, oh, whoops. All right, so now let's see if this works. Oh, boom. I've noticed that sometimes Safari struggles with some of Envision's um, animation transitions. So yet another reason to use Chrome, if you will. Um, but just beware, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, it, I don't quite understand when and why this is the case. Um, but that's it, That it is that easy. So thanks for watching guys and have fun with your prototypes.